Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Roxy and if you're new, welcome. I'm going to be showing you guys how I work this kinky 14 inch lace front wig sent to me from RPG show. Now when I tell you guys this unit is so versatile and so natural, I mean, it's such an understatement. If you're, I'm just going to jump into this video and let you guys know all about this unit. All right guys. So I've given myself like a little, my version of a bald cap method. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's going to do. And the good thing about this unit, it also is pre-bleached. So it doesn't have any black knots. So that definitely helps the blending process. And also it's a transparent Swiss lace and the cap color is medium brown. So that's going to help even more with blending, you know, my skin with the cap. So this is the unit here, fresh out of the packaging here has so much texture to it. Super kinky It's giving me like a blow, blow dried look. Like if your hair was super natural and you blow dried it straight. And when I mean natural, I mean like 4C, um, you know, 4A to 4C hair. This is like what it, what it would give me. Or even if it's like a relaxed hair that's like air dried is giving me that kind of texture as well. On the inside of the cap, it comes with a elastic band. So this is going to give me some extra support on the wig and maybe possibly depending on how it falls, I'm not going to even need to glue it. So it could be worn as like a glueless unit, but I'm not guaranteeing that. Okay. So I'm just going to put the unit on my head. I'm going to see how it fits first of all. So this unit is very full, you know, very voluminous and very thick. Somebody might get this and be like, oh my God, what am I going to do with this? But when I put on this unit and I see it and I feel it, I really think of the versatility that it can give me, especially because it's so similar to like natural hair. So I'm going to glue down this wig using the olive oil grip gel. First, I want to put the hair out of the way. I'm going to just braid it slightly just to take the hair off of the hairline because I don't want it to get all glued up. Usually when I get laces, I usually have to cut off so much extra around the ear but with this unit is like so exact, I have to cut off little to none of the hair, especially around the temple right here. Yeah, so this is like a perfect fit for my head. I'm just going to take the blow dryer and um, just blow dry it on a cool setting for maybe about 20 seconds. This product here does not take that long to dry and I don't want it to get too dry to the point where it's no longer sticky. So now that it's glued down for the most part, I'm just going to take this wrap here and I'm going to tie down the perimeter just to further melt it and just to make sure it's as flat as possible. All right, so I have an electric hot comb here. I'm just going to take it to further like flatten out the lace here at the front and just to help the hair to go back to go backwards off of my face. So 
Now I'm just gonna cut off the lace here. I'm just gonna take this wet rag I have here and I'm gonna like rub off the extra glue that I have on my skin and it's causing like a white residue around my hairline I think that's why so now I'm just gonna add some of the got to be free spray and I'm gonna just spray it around my hairline to help melt the lace and also to secure it more I'm, prob I'm probably gonna end up having to wipe around my hairline again after the got to be spray dries off but that's okay Pretty much holding spray and gel so I want I still want it to be secure so that I can manipulate the wig I'm just taking some foundation and putting it on the hairline because I did a lot of rubbing with the rag I'm 100% sure I took off a lot of makeup so I just want to put it back and it's also going to help blend the lace even more I mean, realistically, I wouldn't wear my hair out like this or my wig out like this, but I'm not gonna lie, this looks super natural. I just wanna actually run the hot comb through it to see like how, I guess, tamed it gets with the hot comb. And it kinda gets hot comb, but wow, look how beautiful this is and how real this looks. So I'm gonna try a couple styles with this unit to see what I can create. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So I'm gonna braid this hair into two, but I'm gonna do like a neater version to what I to what I had just a while ago when I was just holding it away from my face and holding it away from the glue. So you can do this really cute braided style here. I'm gonna show you guys the back to show you guys how it looks. I don't even really know how it looks, but I'm sure it looks, it still looks decent. So all I did was tuck in the braids. I really wanted to use some bobby pins to kind of secure it. However, I don't have any bobby pins right now, but it looks like this. You guys know I always pull for these. I probably just want to glam it up a little bit. And guys, keep in mind, although this hair is super textured, it was really, it's really soft and it's really hard to get like a tight braid on it. So that's why it looks, you know, a little bit fuller around here. But look how pretty this looks anyways. Okay, so I've also created my version of like a goddess braid or I think they call it like a crown braid Whatever it's called basically this where I have the braid coming all the way around So I'm gonna show you guys the back here So this is something else that you can do with the wig because the hair is so full it gives you like, like a nice fluffy braid but i think this is really cute and i think this is like perfect for like the holidays what do you guys think let me know let me know so this
so i created this half up half down style this here is really thick so you know it's giving me a lot of volume but i don't know it's kind of cute depending on like where you're going what you're doing because it's very like playful it's very voluminous so i don't know i think i'd probably have to pull the ponytail a little bit back further or i can just put this in a bun to take it off of my face but this just goes to show like how flexible this wig is i mean i can only i'm pretty sure you can even come up with a bunch of other styles that this can that this wig can do right it's almost like having your own hair and trying to figure out how to comb it every day so like it's very versatile you can get creative it has so much texture to it um it just looks so realistic and it feels so realistic i am going to leave all the details to this unit in the description box below Thank you so much RPG show for sponsoring this video as usual guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.